Namaste. Hello, my dear beautiful Virgo, my dear beautiful viewers. How are you all doing today? Thank you so very much for tuning in, Virgos. I have not been posting uh, any videos, tarot card reading, right? Because I did not get any download for tarot card reading, like zodiac specific, so I did not do. Okay. However, uh, not uh, not like. Um, Ah, actually I have been going through a lot so I have not done any tarot card reading it is just that we are expecting a full moon uh, and it's around the corner in two days I believe uh, because I'm skipping time time zone I'm, I, I'm skipping timeline you know so it's very difficult for me to remember what day it is all right it is I mean this is very strange this card just flipped all right and this card says guilt so Virgo, what happened? Feeling guilty? How you are feeling guilty? Feeling guilty of loving someone who never loved you or you are feeling guilty that somebody loved you and you did not reciprocate back or you did something wrong with somebody? What kind of guilt it is? Looking for some possibilities now, right? How to fix this? A lot of guilt. I can tell you, Virgo, you are not able to sleep because of this guilt, consciousness, whatever it is for you. Your life is looking like a nightmare right now. Hmm? And that too, this is eight number. All right. Look at this. The place where you are at right now, Virgo, when you tune into this channel, uh, you know, Undoubtedly, you are going through a big time. It's not transformation, all right? It's metamorphosis. Metamorphosis and transformation is two different things, all right? Transformation is like this. Let me explain. Transformation is like this. Uh, okay, today you are wearing a frock and tomorrow you are wearing a jeans. That's transformation, okay? You are changing from today. So it's not like that tomorrow you are not going to wear a sari or tomorrow again you are not going to wear a frock. Okay, that's transformation. So it's, you're changing, right? Metamorphosis is what you know. Okay, it's like this. No problem. You're, today you are wearing frock, jeans, sari, whatever, all right? Metamorphosis is something that tomorrow you're going to wear the uniform of a nun or you're going to wear the uniform of a father. Are you getting me? After wearing that, there is no need of any change. Yep, making sense? There you go. There you are. You are going through that metamorphosis. You know. Once you take this, once you put it on, you, you cannot take it out. All right. That's why you are having that internal fight as to like, I don't know. I mean, I'm clueless. Just like this, no? Look at the picture. Irrespective of whatever the gender in the photograph, okay? But uh, irrespective of your gender, whoever has tuned in, it's like, God, I mean, give me a break. I mean, I cannot handle it. Because metamorphosis is like the old self dies. It's like it turns out to be ash. From there, the phoenix rising, and that is your metamorphosis phase. That's your new reborn structure of who you turn out to be. A divine masculine, a divine feminine, all right? And you are there, like, you know it, all right, that you need to change. You know that you need to transform. It's like now you have come to a point that, damn, I cannot be just transforming, all right? If the time has come that it's like leave it man leave it all right it's time for a metamorphosis no transformation you have already played that game in, game in the last uh, seven to eight years that transformation drama uh, now transformation is not going to play any role in your life that's how i'm feeling it's like that's the eighth house this guilt consciousness that you are going through the the sleepless night that you are going through it's because of that metamorphosis energy that you are dealing, I can tell you, your kundalini is rising big time. All right, you have stomach cramp, cramp, you have headache, 
you have burning sensation in your body your body may vibrate you feel some kind of vibration you feel some kind of dizziness you are not able to sleep properly your appetite has come down it's reduced all right and at times in the mood wise sometimes you are feeling really low sometimes you're feeling really high okay and i don't see any energy that you are left out with where when it comes to like sexual pleasure or you know any kind of sensuous emotions it's like kind of has reduced completely within you and you are in that kind of like i am not getting a heads up that's where you are at right now and that's why universe led you to my channel that this is why it is happening with you you need to work on this and that's the reason you are led to my channel and whatever i get as a caption i will send across this as a spell to the universe so uh, you will see how i do my tarot card reading the new visitors all right thank you so very much for tuning in and you will see that i'm a very different kind of a tarot card reader ex across the social media platform all right so i know what i'm speaking you know why you are led to my channel and you know what you need to take from here how you need to implement it and see what you turn out to be all right so this is what universe is trying to bring forth to your notice is that flowering that's the empress card in a way you can say in the traditional tarot all right this this guilt consciousness this regret remorse for whatever action of yours is bothering you is tormenting you it's because um universe is trying to you know change you into a beautiful beautiful uh, empress all right beautiful beautiful empress okay and you are having this fight you are doing some comparison you know you see 58 all right 5 plus plus 8 you see this is 8 and this is 5 5 plus 8 is 13 and 13 in the traditional tarot card deck is death look at the sink all right it's the death death means metamorphosis all right that is metamorphosis so once one everything dies the new gets birth right so you are having guilt you are doing some uh, uh, comparison that means this is the space where you are at when you tune into my channel all right and universe is working at your back all right that's the 13th number it's like 13 if you reduce it to 4 okay so 4 is all about stability all right security all right it's construction right it's the foundation okay you cannot build a house in three pillars right you need four okay so that's four and four the spiritual um uh, how you to call how this four number is associated with hindu uh, the vedic mythology uh, you can say that it is dharma karma artha moksha the four pillars of life dharma karma artha moksha all right so this cannot be established until you cross that 13 number that reduces to four all right so you have to go through that transformation that metamorphosis shed that old skin of yours who used to be maybe you have been a person who who always underestimated yourself maybe you are a person who carried a low self esteem all right maybe you are, you are you are a person who never could speak for yourself all right so what is happening now the universe is working at your back bringing those tower moments to your life so that now you come to know your power okay that yeah you need to sometimes take a stand for yourself even if it means to hurt somebody of your own because at the end it's all about karma right it's all about doing your karma if you are hearing something is wrong you will have to work through that all right you'll have to work through that you cannot escape that when you face that fight that and when you come out of that be it a loser or a winner but you got an experience and you know now going forward what to do at the end you are going to go through that metamorphosis right because of the experience now this is where you are at going through that guilt consciousness that con comparison and this two number eight and five five is all about you know changes challenges right why these challenges because 
God is trying to go process you through that metamorphosis. And you see, it is number two card that is moment to moment. You see, it's step by step. This person is wearing actually a arm suit, right? Like the martial arts, all right, that the karate kung fu people wear. So you see, this person is trying to balance out himself moment by moment, moment to moment. He's trying to step in, balance himself. And he has that art and skill within him. You know, for his protection, he can do this karate and woo ha, right? He he is wearing that dress. What this dress depicts? You also have that dress within you. It's all about to recognize that. That's why you are led to my channel. That you need to recognize that, my child, that you already you as a human being, you already possess that. It's all about embracing that, accepting that, adopting that, making friends with that, and then boom. Take moment to moment step and become an empress, right? That's what, this is the root chakra energy of yours. That's why you are getting hit. And you see, I'm wearing the orange and black dress. So you are and going through that energy, okay? Orange, yellow, and black. And you see my flowers are also there, orange, red, and black. So if you see, there are blue also, there are black, green, everywhere. There are multiple colors. As for this also, multiple colors, right? So it's your perception, right? How you are going to see colors. If you are seeing only black and white, then you will see only black and white in the outside projection. But if you see yourself that, yeah, I am this beautiful color, you see, the color that I, the way I presented, she is actually embodying this entire color, right? So if you know your worth of who you are, come out of this comparison, oh, you are not good enough, oh, you are not beautiful enough, oh, you are this, oh, you are that, so, all right, so I don't deserve love, I don't deserve this, I don't deserve, so you actually have brought yourself to that level that you have told the universe that, yeah, universe, you know what, I am like this only, I don't deserve anything, so what to do, you know, so let it be. You, so when you have given up on yourself, why complain? Now what the universe can do for you? Because you are asking what from universe? You are asking actually uh, the, uh, the same energy that you are in and that's why you are there. You, that's not universe fault. That's how law of attraction works. What you give out to universe, that's what you get. So why, why crying over split milk? Uh, you know, why have that guilt consciousness? Why regret? Why remorse? Let it go. Whatever happened, happened in the past, right? Focus in the now. Know your worth, right? And that's what I'm feeling, that if you see around us is like kind of like full moon. This person is just sitting outside the full moon in this beautiful lotus, like the Lakshmi goddess, you know, like the Shakti, all right? You know, it's like, wow. You know, she is like sitting and that's what I'm feeling that this full moon, you are going to get that ultimate uh, tower from the universe where you will be forced. All right. That's what I feel. You will be forced to. You will be forced to let the go release and surrender yourself like you will be uprooted. OK, I'm telling you guys, get ready. Because in order to bring you here, God will have to bring that tower, my friends. Yeah, divine intervention is awaiting you. I'm so sorry about that. Please forgive me. It's just that this energy um, big time needs a divine intervention. That's when you break free from any comparison, false belief, and, uh, you know, and keep getting into that trauma state of mind, feeling guilty, regret, remorse. You cannot be living in that energy forever, right? Every human being needs love compassion empathy sympathy you cannot say that no i can live like this no at one point in time you will be dead and you will be dangerous for people around right yeah so universe will not let you live like that that you are a trouble for yourself and you are creating trouble for 10 different people around you yeah so what universe will do mm -hmm. you are spreading negative energy so let me you know come and you know put a break all right help you come out of this energy all right and moment to moment step by step with the baby step baby trial all right turn out to be this gold the pure gold all right she is a queen you know it's more like this she sits in the lotus 
and out of our will everything comes you know it's like this yeah she is absolutely that beautiful you your universe is trying to bring you to this energy you see that two different energies right you you are here and universe is trying to bring you here all right rather be it with with baby steps moment to moment one by one all right and bring you to a place where you stand in a better place and you start to look yourself and see that's when you know put that comparison you know you can use that comparison in a positive way like the way i tell i see myself or i, I when i see my old videos that i have shot uh say two, uh, one and a half year back i i feel good i mean i used to be somewhat like oh no 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 i that was not good but today when i see my own readings and, and the way i do and the way i'm getting response from people around the globe is that that's the beautiful comparison I'm having that I, how I used to be and today how I am. I'm so beautiful. I feel good about myself. All right. And I have completely surrendered out to the universe and living my purpose. That's why you are here and you are hearing me out. But if you continue to live in this and continue to compare, compare yourself, be in that introvert space, be feeling that guilt, regret and remorse. And you keep vibing with that energy. All right. My life was like a hell yesterday and it is becoming more hell by then it's like moment to moment it's turning out to be hell so if you are seeing your life in a negative way when god has really blessed you with something beautiful and you don't have that insight that vision to see that and that's why you are led down to my channel that my child please hear my another child out here because this is my family all right whoever tunes into my my channel they are my family okay so you are my family and if you are in pain, I am in pain, our father in heaven in pain. We are, we belong to the same source, we are going to go back to the same source, right? Yeah. So when we are going back to the same source, you all are my brothers and sisters. So if you are in pain, I am in pain and that's why I am bringing, yeah, take the truth with a pinch of salt, alright, because truth is always bitter. It may trigger you right now, if you are seeing 1717, then that's a confirmation. If it is triggering you, means that's the space where you need to fix and figure things out. Stop feeling this guilt. Stop comparing yourself. Stop having the 13 number that and tower all the time. All right. And try to make peace with yourself. See that positive side with yourself. All right. Don't you think that you have done something good in your life? You have not done any good for yourself or you have not done any good for others. Or let's say if you are bothered by others' behavior, don't you think that others has really not done anything for you? You have to see both the sides, right? You'll have to consider things from both the sides. If you have this complaint that nobody has done anything for me, see within yourself what you have done for others, all right? And then see this and ask this question to yourself that truly, I mean, nobody has really done anything for you. Are you sure about it? I mean, God has been really so, so cruel to you that you need, never get any help. Yeah, that's what you were saying. Then there you are. You are in that mess. Are you getting me? You have to see things from both the sides to understand what I'm saying. You cannot be seeing just one side of the coin, right? You have to flip it and see what exactly is written on the other side of the coin. How it looks like. That metamorphosis is needed, you know. That metamorphosis is needed and that is what is coming this full moon you are going to feel this way from full moon onwards this is how you are going to feel possibly this message come to you like a, a divine word I mean somebody really felt like I mean clueless I don't know God what to do then hear this out let go of this any consciousness um, blockages that you have regarding guilt, regret, remorse, you know. Stop complaining, stop comparing, comparing yourself. Stop putting any boundaries. Free yourself, release yourself, fly like a bird, all right. Step, take moment by moment, one after the other and see how beautiful being you are, all right. Always remember, my friends, that lotus uh, is bloom in the murky water, all right. And that is, a, uh, that is a flower that is loved by every gods and goddesses. So there is a reason, right? So you are not somewhere or somebody, people around you are not 
like bad or cruel, all right? Neither you are cruel to anybody nor anybody else is cruel to you. It's all how you see, that's what you project. So if you are seeing other people are villain for you because you are vibing in this energy, that's why other people are looking uh, like a villain to you. And if you are, uh, you know, n n feeling that, no, I'm not in this energy and other people are uh, like tormenting you or doing something, then you have to flip the coin now and see on the other side what exactly it says. Yes, my friend, you will have to do that. Yeah. For a better tomorrow, for a better future, you will have to take certain risk in your life and see. And I'll tell you one thing, Virgo, where there is no risk, there is no gain. All right. You can stay like this forever. Trust me. You know why? Because you did not take any stand to make any change to this. this all right. But I told you, you have to see this card from a different perspective. Always remember, when it's about bamboo tree, it takes five years to come out of, uh, of the soil, you know. Because it's so long that it takes its root to be grounded first, all right. So God has been trying to ground you, but you are not seeing the positive aspect of who you are, all right. Whatever this guilt is playing in your life, this is speaking loud to me. Virgo, whatever this guilt and comparison is, these are the two cards that is triggering you. And actually, deep within you know, I have to make that move, baby step I'll have to take. That's only when probably I will become this or I will get this. All right. That's only when I will get her or him, irrespective of gender in the card. Or this is how, if by taking those baby steps only, this is how I will turn out to be. You know, it is your energy or somebody else's energy. But what I believe is that this full moon, something is going to bloom in your life, which will give you new, in, new insight, new understanding, new perspective to see life. And from there on, your life will change uh, um, beautifully, you know. So I'll tell you, Virgo, that... All you need to do is, you know, know your worth, know your power, know from where you are coming. Try to understand and analyze your own behaviors first, okay? Once you do that, that's when you will see. You can see the beauty outside only when you see the beauty within, all right? So I'm going to put that as your spell to the universe. You will see. beauty outside only when you see the beauty within so why i wrote this i will send this spell to the universe when i do meditation or, or while i'm doing my spiritual practices okay so i will do this uh, and i'll send this uh, message to the universe that you know so that through my prayer and reiki energy healing and distance energy healing that i do because for me this is big all right this is really big for me i'm not playing around with my cards i'm not playing around with my downloads and information because i know that my information can make you or break you so uh, i always send across my prayer to my father in heaven and i tell him that you know our family these are the people who need this support and this love this uh, this uh, you know uh, this knowledge and wisdom so father please do something for them and my prayers are sent out to them like this and and my father do it all right so that's how i am connected to you all so you all are always there in my prayer so you will see beauty outside so i will always uh, you know mm, i will send through this uh, to my father and you know help you get some new insight and see those positive aspects that's lying within you all right so you can expect to have some illuminations to see your true worth in your true own eyes and once you embody that all right that's when you are going to turn out to be this beautiful beautiful empress and that flowering all right that aura everything will just uh, shine through you all right so stop feeling any guilty you have done nothing wrong Everything is like a learning process. So take it as a learning. 
and move on, all right? You are a unique being. The way God has made you, you are perfectly fine for somebody, all right? You are absolutely fine. Always remember, you will be enough for somebody, all right? God has not made you like that nobody will look up to you. No, it's not like that. So there's always two sides of the coin. So I will send this prayer to the universe that God helps you to see two sides of the coin and accordingly adopt it and accept it and embrace it so that it makes your life uh, moving, the wheels of your life moving, all right? On track, making all your dreams and desires come true. Okay, so I hope it resonated with you, Virgo. All right, so until we meet again, I'm sending across much love and light to you all. All right, stay blessed and in peace. Om Namah Shivaya. Bye-bye.